But so here on the 6th, 2023 of March, you know, sort of switching, turn the page from my dead or off coverage, like I was just saying, uh, and going, you know, to talking about more Alaska politics because we're not, you know, we've got a lot of time before this race kind of gets, uh, shakes out who's who and who. We got to get to 24 and stuff, but like, Alaska politics right now, uh, Mary Peltel, the quote unquote Alaska delegation, Dan Sullivan, and Lisa Murkowski, who all came up with a lot of the Alaska legislators to do sort of a, you know, uh, a picture and a soundbite at the Iditarod start. I think you can tell by the amount that I coverage Iditarod compared to how they coverage it. You know, if you weigh those two things on a balanced scale, I clearly know more about the subject matter than them. And I worry, you know, in terms of looking at the political landscape, not just the state legislators and House representatives people, but also at the national level, the triumphant that I just mentioned, the quote-unquote Alaska delegation, Lisa Murkowski, uh, as well as, you know, Mary Peltoa, as well as Senator Dan Sullivan, do they really know the state? You know, I mean, they, they come up for a soundbite for there. They don't understand the behavior behind the scenes, they don't understand the strategy, you know, they're there for a picture, uh, you know, and they don't really understand the impact of the race and behind the scenes, the ecosystem of businesses that support that race on the actual people who work for those businesses, as well as the dogs, you know what I mean, it's a very superficial, uh, and we can see it transparently with social media, it's a very superficial uh, understanding, hey hero, how you doing buddy, but, you know, and I worry like the Willow Project, which is really in the news right now, up there on the North Slope where the Ambler Road, we've talked about that kind of stuff, or at least I have, you know, quite a bit in the past in terms of resource development type projects. And obviously, you know, I'm not someone who's like, you know, this super greeny out waving the, waving the, you know, save the whales flag, though I think we should save the whales. You know what I mean? There's really, it's the issue of disrespecting those indigenous native tribes from those regions where these development projects uh, are potentially going to be, you know, put and developed like like the people up there on the north slope some of those some of those tribes like the tanner chiefs conference has come out and say they don't want that ambler road they don't want that ambler mine those are the people who reside and you know and who subsist off the fish and the moose and the caribou in the specific region you know mary pelto from southwest alaska different part of alaska we need to respect you know the locals uh voice you know and we need that's their land that's their resource you know what i mean and i really feel like that there's those people, those Alaska delegation is just not honoring their constituents 